can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on, run on for, for a long time. time. Today is the day. Hello, everybody. Let's finish what we started. This is the third part. The Bobby does he burn, baby burn. And you'll see how it burned. Because there is no more Bobby's blazer. Everybody's speaking about Teresa Holbach, Rav Ford. And the motherfuckers are very happy. All the people involved are very happy because no fucking body is talking about Bobby's cat. So. Earl and Chuck are involved. Change my mind. Of course. You can see her face. Yes. Did you ever watch at these stones besides the wheel, you know, it's very strange, like one of the Averys put at these stones, I guess Bobby or the friend of Bobby that sells guns or Chucky. Or fucking Earl Avery, fucking Robert Fabian. I wonder this call, you know. Why? Why Barbara didn't want to talk with Steven that night? Was Barbara Barb Tadic? the wife of fucking Scott Tadich. Dear Barb was very busy that night. Because Steven smelled something weird was happening and he called his sister on that day. She never answered you know why? Because you'll have a dead sister. Fucking Barbara. Steven had a dead sister from the beginning. Stop saying bullshit, please. Let's continue. Suddenly, at this point in the interview, an officer is had asking quite importantly, impatiently, is Bobby here yet? Someone says, black truck. I don't recall which interview is this, but I can find it if you told me to do it on the comments. And I'll really find this shit because the black track it's not a fucking joke. In this case is not a joke, you know. This is a message for you, fucking Carla Chase. You snake liar. I'm so tired of you talking shit about the Steven trying to sell shitty t-shirts that don't represent Steven at all, you know? I'm so sick of and tired. You are trying to protect your father from the beginning, for nobody knows. Your father is a rapist. Your father is a dangerous man for the society, for the community. You know how many girls were raped by your father? Maybe you don't know. But the people will know. Can somebody explain me this shit? Can somebody explain me? Explain, please. Why? Blaster 
was gone when Bobby finished his shower Bobby never was to the shower you know never ever he was ready to get the black blazer to to follow Teresa to chase Teresa it's amazing how the people at, at, you know a lot of people saying it was Ryan Hilgas no 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 Ryan Hilgas he is another prick he did a lot of frames but he never chased Teresa with his car but Bobby Dassey and Scott Tadich yeah you know this is the fucking disco inferno it's amazing this car Bobby's car okay it's not another car it's Bobby's one okay not time to dancing how the fact the same girl the daughter of Earl that said Stephen Avery raped her no no it was with her consentment she wanted to fuck and she had the age properly this I don't know but you know we live on a free world she never were to the police no Steven was about to get 36 million dollars they didn't know how to steal this money maybe collaborating with the cops maybe putting Steven another time on jail because of a raping Earl, Chuck and Barbara at this time were very pensive, you know, very trying to get a solution. They really wanted the money, they really hated Steven. You know? It was the blazer, the solution. With this blazer, they really killed Teresa or made look like Teresa was killed, you know? It's going inferno. Mike Osmundson, yeah, he was the best friend of Bobby. It's it can't be a casualty. Casualty don't exist on this case. It's all connected, related. Parker Osmundson lied from the beginning, And the alibi is different sometimes. Bobby said, I was with his Scott Taddy another time. I was with Mike Osmundson. Even Kathleen Selner talks about Bobby, you know? She knows perfectly. Bobby was there, you know? Fucking Earl Avery, you know? Mm. 
The first wife of Stephen was Peter Dassey, the one that still it. The one that said Stephen burned the cat, you know? The same guy still it, the wife. So I don't have anything to say about him because he is the father of Brad and I really respect Brad. So I won't talk about Peter Dassey. But I'm ready to talk about Chuck because Chuck still had Jody. Jody was Steven's girlfriend. And I can bet this Chuck fucked with her. Was aggressive with her. Harassed her, you know? And Earl, another bad brother, you know? If Jody says, if anyone did it, if anyone framed Steven, was Earl, I really believe this sentence of Jody, and I'm sure she didn't want to talk bad about Chuck because she was afraid of Chuck. Like, a lot of women of Manitoba are afraid of Chuck. And you are free, you, the woman of Manitoba, you are free to say anything you have to say about Chuck on the comments. It will be anonymous, you know, but it's time to speak, it's time to talk. Days are one by one passing, you know, years are like blowing in the wind, the years. And Steve, I don't want Steven to die in jail, okay? I don't want even Brendan to die in jail. It's time to say the fucking truth. I really hate Carla Chase and her smiles. You don't represent Steven. You don't represent Brenda. You are only for the money and only for protect your father, okay? I have a lot of stuff coming out about your father. I have about you, Carla, but it's not... I will wait, okay? I will wait to talk about you. Now we will talk about the rapist. Chuck is not an angel. Chuck is not a good brother. Chuck is not you know, even a good son. If Jody Stachowski says this, I really believe, you know, it, it, it has to be true. Okay, Bobby was the same day that Teresa was disappeared, okay, on the computer for all the fucking night. And all the morning. It's amazing. I, I don't know how much people can defend Bobby when the truth is plain to see, you know? Please, people, you people, start to talk about Bobby's blazer, because this is key thing. Why Chuck crashed Bobby's blazer with the rest of Barb's cars? To hide something, yes, to hide DNA, to hide blood. And 
it's not fair for Steven. So we have to do something. We have to do a step. Okay? We have to go on and still support Steven Avery because Steven Avery needs us more than ever. <laughs>